Okay, students, I've had a couple emails, a couple phone calls. Um, there might be some some areas where there is a issue, not knowing where to go, um, what to click on, how to navigate some stuff in Blackboard or Propero or something like that. So I'm going to try not to make this too incredibly long. And we are going to, I'm going to show you kind of just some basic stuff. There was an orientation for Blackboard that you should have registered for if you'd never used it before. But um, in the event that you haven't done that yet or haven't been able to, let me just go ahead and show you a couple things. Okay, so I'm going to go to egcc.edu. Now, my stuff might look a tad different than y'all's, but this is the basics here. So I'm going to go to Blackboard. And it always tells me my password is wrong, so I'm going to retype it in again. Now, okay, so this is kind of my dashboard. Now I'm going to go to your class here. Dun, da, da, da. If it will ever pull up, my computer has been slow. Okay, so this is the screen I immediately come on, all right? Now, these are all of your assignments down through here. Dun, da, da, da. All right. Now, these are, when you click on one of these, it will pull up, let's just do lesson one, it will pull up what your, it'll ask you to open with Microsoft Word or Word Processor, whichever is compatible on your computer. And then it's going to make me, it's going to make me this little document. And this is what you're going to use. You're going to like save it with your last name, assignment one. And then like on this particular thing, ooh, that's not spelled right. Um, like you're gonna say the, the particular type of research is listed, then give me what information is used for, what what is this best used for examining or studying? What are the pros of using this type of research and what are the cons of this type of research? So that's this particular assignment. Now, every assignment is gonna have a different um, I'll just come out of this. I don't need to save it. I'll go back and do it later. Um, is going to have a different, right here, these little attached files. And you'll pull each one of them up, save it with your last name, the assignment number, and that's how you're going to do the assignments. Now down here, this is your course project down here. I've given you some extra um, stuff right here, documents that you can use for writing. It should be a minimum of 700 to 1,000 words. You have to use APA. That includes in-text citations. They have to be formatted right. Your sources have to be formatted right. They need to be reputable sources. Wikipedia is not a reputable source. Okay, so you're gonna pick one of these myths, follow these directions, and write the paper. If you've got questions, um, about APA, I've given you a little PowerPoint here for the Purdue OWL, okay, and the Purdue OWL is awesome. It, I still use it. I've been writing for 17 years and I still go there because memorizing everything from APA is just ridiculous. So this is sixth edition and this will go through and show you some stuff as far as the easiest way to do it. Now, if you use this and you're still not being answered right or you can't seem to find it you'll go to open up another tab and I just put just to get to the right page I'll put APA site uh, article let's just use that one okay usually the Purdue Owl is the first thing to pop up save this page okay this is APA and it gives you format in-text citation I mean, it gives you everything you need <clears throat> if you're still having problems and can't find something, then give me a call and let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you. Okay, so this is your course project. This is due the last week of class. Please do not everybody turn it in at the same time. I have to grade them. I have to have some time. So you'll look at your syllabus for the last uh, date that was actually due. Now, back to assignments. Once you've pulled it up, you've filled it out, you've saved it with your name and the lesson number, you're going to save that to your hard drive. Then you're going to come back, like if I want to submit lesson one, I'm going to click here on the lesson one assignment, and this is what's going to pull up. It tells you how many points are possible, and you're going to attach a file. 
try your best not to do the text submission if you can, where you just go in there and put it in. You need to attach a file because I've given you a document to fill out. And then you'll browse your computer, you'll pick, you know, you'll attach it like that, and then click this box because it's going to agree to run it through a sign safe so I can see um, if there's any plagiarism. And then you're going to hit submit after it's attached. If you need to leave me a little note, you know, down here, you can do that. And then hit submit. And that's how you upload your assignment. Okay, now, and that's true for assignments 1 through 12 and to the top. Let's go to the bottom. And for the course project, you submit it the same way you do the other things. You browse your computer, choose your file, and then submit it. Okay, so that's for assignments. How to get to them, how to upload them. And if it will cancel, okay. Now, for the other side of this, you guys have Blackboard for all these assignments. And then, of course, you have Preparo. Preparo is the side where you are going to take quizzes, do your tests, do your practice tests, do your final exam, and all that good stuff. So, when you're in Preparo, okay, all this stuff over here, here's your textbook right here, this e-text, you pull it up. Um, there's a course checklist that kind of helps keep you on track, so you know about where you should be each week. It is self-paced, so you have to be disciplined. So check your course checklist, and it kind of gives you this little um, checklist here. Let me open it so you can see it. Okay, and this will give you everything you need to do for each of the lessons, okay? So that kind of helps keep you on track. Now, um, e-text this is your textbook like I said we're going to click on e-text select here it's a hot link okay and like I said mine may look a tad different than yours does because I'm on the professor side of stuff so here's your textbook if I can slide it over here we go And ta-da, you have all your stuff. You can go chapter, like chapter eight, okay? And then you can go to specific sections. So when you're doing your test and whatever, you'll be able to, you know, this is, this is the stuff you're gonna read. You need to read your textbook. I know a lot of people don't. You need to read your textbook. Okay, now let's go back and take out of the book. So that's your book, that's how you get there, okay? Now, lesson one, you're gonna, there's a video, okay? That's a welcome video, and then there's a presentation. And the presentation is kind of like a slideshow, and it's just gonna take you through each one, and I hate these things when they do it. So you're gonna start lesson, and then use the navigation up here. You'll read through it, it'll take you through, each section you need to read and you can come up here and hold it like this and it'll give you what the section is so this is all introduction to psychology and then once you and it'll even give you where is it through some of these it will give you like almost like tiny little check your understanding quizzes and stuff um, where you drag like this is like matching check your understanding um, so you would drag it to the appropriate one and then there's some understanding questions true fall some sometimes it's pick the right one like a fill in the blank type thing okay so once you've done like gone through this entire thing let's just say you did it and you've done it okay then you're gonna, now this is audio to go where you can listen to it. You can actually download it and listen to it if you're more of an auditory type person. And it gives you all of the lessons and stuff like that and you're gonna, you can take it with you. Um, like I think it's an MP4 file. All right, and then there's a practice quiz. 
You can take the practice quiz up to five times. If you need to take it more than five times and you've like run out of chances, send me an email and I will reset it so that you have a couple more times that you can practice. Then when you're done practice quizzing, then you're going to take your actual quiz and it will come up and it will automatically generate your score and stick it in my gradebook over here. I will then take these out of the gradebook and put them into the Blackboard gradebook so that it's all just in one spot instead of back and forth. So you'll have eight less, well, no you won't, my bad. You have 12 lessons and then you'll have your final exam. So this, like I said, this Prepare-O part over here is what this is called. All of this is your quizzes, your practice quizzes, your practice tests, your tests, your final exam. And this is your Blackboard where you turn in assignments. So you have a total of 12 assignments, a course project, and you have, and then in this side you have a total of 12 quizzes, 12 practice quizzes, four practice tests, four actual tests, and a final exam. So that should be everything that you need, but if you still have problems navigating, just let me know. I can either make another video, or you can call me, or email me, and I'll do what I can to help you. And if you need anything else, just let me know, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks!